is Microsoft's cloud native identity and access management solution. One of its key capabilities is to integrate all your enterprise applications with Azure AD, including third-party SaaS applications and on-premise legacy applications. This offers great benefits such as central app management and enforcing the Azure AD security features like MFA on those apps. The easiest way is to leverage the Azure AD app gallery, which includes a predefined configuration template for more than 3000 SaaS applications. In this video, I will demonstrate this by integrating Dropbox for Business into Azure AD, setting it up for single sign-on and enabling automatic user provisioning in less than five minutes. The first step is to integrate Dropbox for Business into Azure AD by going to Enterprise Applications and adding it as a new application from the Azure AD Gallery. As you can see, there are a lot of applications available, including Dropbox for Business. When we click on it, you'll see that there is a step-by-step -step Dropbox for Business integration guide available, which is the case for most of applications that we offer in the gallery. It will also show the single sign-on modes that are supported and if user or group provisioning is supported. Once the application has been added, we can already assign users or groups that should have access to this application. For this demonstration, my demo user will be Flora Scott. So Flora Scott will have access to this application once it's all set up. In step two, we are going to set up single sign-on. Dropbox for Business supports SAML single sign-on. If we choose this option, then we will be shown a step-by-step -step workflow that will guide us through this configuration. Here in step two, we will provide the basic SAML configuration. As you will notice, because this is a template, most of it is already done. So here we will have to provide some information and that information can also be found in the tutorial that we provide. The sign on URL will be a dummy value for now. The real value is something that we will get in just a few seconds. In step three, you can configure the user attributes and claims. For this template, this is already configured, but you can still modify it if that would be needed. In step four, you can find the SAML signing certificate if you would like to download it, as well as in step five, you can find the configuration URLs if you want to do the single sign-on configuration yourself on the side of Dropbox for Business. But to make your life easier, we have given you a single click, single sign on setup, which is something that we have available for many applications. Basically, here Azure AD is going to do the configuration for you. So if we click on this, it's gonna ask you to confirm or to download the certificate for the SAML setup. And it will then bring you to the admin console in Dropbox for Business to start this setup. So we click yes to start it and it will automatically configure everything. I'm not touching my mouse. Now it will ask you to upload this certificate that we just downloaded. It will ask you to save the changes. And there we go. Single sign-on has been successfully configured. The custom sign-on URL has been copied to your clipboard. So this final link, this final value that we were still looking for, it has copied it. It will now also automatically redirect to Azure AD where we left off. And all that's left to do is change this dummy value here in the beginning with this copied value, save it, and done. So we have now successfully configured single sign-on. All that's left to do now is step three, 
enabling user provisioning. This is also something that will happen very efficiently and quickly. Basically, we click automatic. We go to admin credentials where we authorize other Azure AD to access the Dropbox for Business API. So we do a simple authentication here. We wait until the authorization is done and we turn on the provisioning. There we go. User, user provisioning has been successfully activated. So now we have fully integrated the application, including with single sign-on and user provisioning. You can now go ahead and enable MFA, conditional access policies, or whatever you like as well for this application. If we look at this from an end user perspective, in this case, Flora Scott, we will see that Dropbox for Business has now been added to her My Apps portal. If she would open Dropbox for Business, you will see that she will experience a single sign-on experience. This brings us to the end of this demonstration. I hope it was interesting and that at least you're aware that Azure AD is definitely not only for Microsoft apps. If you are interested to get started with this, which of course I encourage, take a look at the links on the screen. And with that being said, thank you for watching.